We're going to keep. Skorelf. Leader of the pack. Athalia. The sage will be nice to get rid of the scrub later. No, it's asked because Athalia has first strike. No brutal Cathar, please. Don't do it. No brutal Cathar. Opponent? Come on, opponent. Play a card. If they have Brutal Cathar now, they do it because it turns me off of mana and they get to attack with Thalia. They have Ossification in their Thalia deck. Okay. No blocks. I guess I'm going to have to besage you the Ossification when they attack with Thalia. But then the scroll is just going to target it and say pro green. Not pro, but you know what I mean. Copper coat Vanguard. That's fine. I could just Tyvar stand a Senate pack leader and just get rid of Thalia after blocks. Do I care about the Thalia though? They could like I Ganjo the pack leader after Tyvar stand. Don't just don't have I Ganjo in hand, please. Unbelievable. Literally unbelievable. Why would opponent not have everything they need? I don't know. This card's like a one or a two of in their deck at the very most. That's a problem. Mental misplay. What's up? Thanks for the raid. How's it going? I think I want to get rid of this Skrelv. But I also could could get rid of that to get my lone speaker to double block the copper coat. Double blocking cop double blocking copper coat just does seem really good. But they could just like screll something before blocks, but that doesn't really do anything. I guess it does. They're gonna scroll the copper coat before blocks. How was your stream today, Mental Display? Pretty sure you, you played some Commander, had fun with the people? Alright, opponent, come on. Make a decision. Come on, opponent! I implore you, I beg you, I plead with you. Let this resolve. 
I don't want to have to year go. I don't want to year go them. Don't make me pull out the year go. Don't make me do it. Yikes. They saw the line. This girl's gonna solo me. No! That's just totally unfair. We're not winning this game because Skrull's gonna solo us. Imagine attacking and blocking in, in Magic the Gathering. Mulligan. Oh no. Mulligan again? Alright, two lands are going back. Maybe we should have put Tyvar stand back. Yep, confirm we should have put Tyvar stand back. Oh no. Please don't tell me. Don't tell me it's make disappear dot deck. Cringe. Should have put back a Tyvar stand. Now we don't have a third land. It is Esper control. I guess that's the land. We'll take those. All right, maybe we can put our Tyvar stand to work. Well, our opponent has the dream curve. Removal, removal, deluge. That's the dream. Land? I don't even know what this does. I'm not even casting Polychronos. I guess I could because it doesn't get make disappeared. This is the best play if they're if they're gonna have a freaking wandering emperor though. So they don't have an emperor. A Gondro. Sure, you got me. Just don't play make disappear. Don't do it. God damn it. How do they have everything? Now they have seven lands from Emory Deluge? So strong. Like everything has fallen exactly into how they wanted it to. All right, now they're gonna have like a freaking farewell or whatever. That's basically farewell. We are dead.
Like, nothing really we can do about our opponent just never missing a beat. Our opponent having exactly what they need. And then... Like, Memory Delusion to Memory Delusion is exactly on curve, never missing a land drop. Just how it goes. Straight up reprint Steel Leaf Champion. They could have done that in Dominaria Master, but they didn't. No, not Dominaria Mastered. Um, Dominaria United. Because that card came out in Dominaria, the first one. Or, no. The most recent one before Dominaria United. 2017 or something? 2016? Guess I'll go Lone Speaker over Beast Color. I'd rather get the mana down first. Get that down, and then we'll go Beast Color into Contaminator. Or Beast Color Pluchronos, whichever one you feel like. Probably Contaminator, though. Uh, or Invoke. I think I like getting the Beast Color down, though. I don't think they have any sweepers in this deck. Green will just get another broken creature like Elder Gargaroth any set now. Just be patient. Whoa! Uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, so they're dead to this, unless they have removal. Oh, they could just die. It's fine, too. Sometimes you just win the game when our opponent has four drops in their hand. Been patient since rotation. All right, one more game, and then we'll do Jaffer's, um, Jaffer's Deck Tech. We literally won that game so fast that our, the, uh, Untapped just did not register what deck that was. We're going to keep this hand, even though it doesn't have a two or three drop. Turn one pack clear is all we wanted to be doing. Good afternoon, Go Copper. How's it going? Quest, reprint Questing Beast. Yes. Land, attack, they cut down, we tie our stand, we play another pack leader. Siphon Insight. Sure thing, bud. I was so ready to jam this time. ours. This time our stand. Green has pretty solid four plus mana cards. They have solid three three mana cards too. Just the one and the two mana are just way worse. Wow, that's like the best possible card they could have gotten. I can't even attack through that. What the heck? This is gonna stop me from attacking the entire game. Wow. They ain't looking too hot. At least we get three counters next turn off the, off the oddity, and then we'll get three more off this oddity. Best draw possible is an untapped land. Every land in our deck is untapped, so just any land. Now they're gonna flip the Celestis and draw a discard. Wow, they can even they can even use the Pelucranos like next turn to make it into like a big life linker. Can I stop drawing Tyvar stand, please? Disdainful stroke in best of one? 
What is happening? All right, that's a land, the land we wanted. No, we can actually attack through our opponent's board. I mean, I mean, we can't even attack through it yet. That's the problem. It's a four five. How do we beat that? One is playing Esper Mono Green. Yeah, that that's what one Siphon Insight does. Void Rend can't be countered. How about if we made our thing hexproof? Just no memory deluge or a huge card advantage spell, please. This blue Kronos has stopped us from winning this game, honestly. Like, no, like, no joke. All right, all we need is an, one more oddity. I'd love an oddity right now. <laughs> sure thing, bud. Thanks, deck. What are the odds of that? Don't tell me the odds. Silent Sushi, thanks for the follow. Sure thing. Wow, they're gonna plus one, plus one their thing, aren't they? That's annoying. Just minus on the beast color. Minus, minus. Crap. Oh wait, they grew the wrong thing. Wait, this actively helps me, right? They first strike the beast color. Beast color puts a counter on pack leader. What if I left the beast color die? Sure. Counter there, counter. Here, here. Sure. Well, that was really good for us. Uh, sure, I'll take it. And then you're gonna proliferate the Wandering Emperor, but I don't care about that. All I need them to do is not cast exactly Sweeper, but they only have one white mana. No, they have two white mana. No, don't cast a Sweeper. No Sunfall. No Sunfall. God. Why? <sighs> so stupid. So stupid. Funny word, exile, yeah. Why do they print Sunfall and Farewell? That just like mitigates every kind of play that Mono Green has in the game. Like Mono Green just cannot beat Mass Exile. And why is there two cards in standard that are Max Exile? That are very, very, very good. I don't even need Lone Speaker right now. I just want I just want Beast Caller. 
I have enough lands. Let's just start killing them. Mirex. Stomper, sure, that thing can't block. I mean, next turn, if they have the invasion, they can block. It's very unfortunate. Let's go with... Add green mana, cast... We don't need to add green mana. We just go land, cast this. Attack with these two. Pass with Tyvar stand up. And if they have invasion, we can just Tyvar stand this. Oh, they, they always have it. They didn't leave white mana up, so that means they don't have um, the other card. Leyline Binding. So are they dead? No, they're not dead, right? 4, 8, 19, 11. They're barely alive. If we draw Oddity, we win. <laughs> what? game you wanted me to win we, we got a win for you game come on let's go we got a pack a mythic wild card nice Any creature was lethal, yes. Any creature was lethal. But I called the exact creature. That's called being better. All right, Jaffer, send me the list. All right, sometimes you call Oddity off the top and oddly enough, we draw the card. I mean, does this deck want me to win? Yes. Does it also sometimes want me to lose? Yes. Farewell, very good card against this deck. Sunfall, very good card against this deck. As long as you don't play against those two cards, just hope that you don't play against those two cards. This is a good deck. Otherwise, not so good. Anyway, go ahead and click the description down below. Check out the deck list if you want to play for yourself. Like and subscribe if you did like this and watch it all the way through. Thank you very much for that. And I'll see you in the next one. And as always, peace. We need Oddity. We got it. Then why always sweeper? Because the game has to even itself out somehow. The game has to give and the game has to take away. What? Why couldn't... Oh, Voice of Resurgence isn't legal in this format, is it? Yeah, it's not legal. It's a Pioneer deck? I mean, yeah. Okay. Pioneer deck. Let's put Voice of Resurgence as freaking Botanical Brawler. Now we'll do a Conclave Mentor as just a placeholder. Voice is legal after EA3 comes out. True. Your deck tech thing didn't say has to be only arena, so I thought it was okay. Yeah, it's fine. It's good. 
I just usually put it in arena. I usually put it in arena uh, while I'm going over it. Okay, this is Voice of Resurgence. We have a Life Bounty in here. Um, Archangel Elspeth. So I feel like this is a Coco deck that doesn't want to play Coco. Green Light Vehicles with one vehicle? I can't be... Can't be green light vehicles with one vehicle. You're playing LSB because after league last night I didn't feel great. What's LSB? Oh, love struck beast. It didn't feel great. What's what what what, what didn't feel what didn't feel great about love struck beast? The card's five five. It felt meh. What did you put instead? More sky, more sky claven archons. <sighs> I still feel like you should play one Sky Sovereign console flagship. Oh, I added this Elsed on accident. I was wondering why it was in the deck. That's hilarious. So, how is Malira better than Skrelf? Because you always want to play Elvish Mystic on turn one? And then you can't tap Skrelf on turn two? Okay, I understand that. I answered my own question. Returns your vehicles back to the field? That's also true. Main deck. Main deck Archon's interesting. Uh. There's just so many three drops in this deck. Jesus. Wouldn't you play wouldn't you play four Archons over playing two Archon two Phyrexian sensor? Like you don't have any Phyrexian spells. Why wouldn't it just be four Archons? Because Archon does the same thing but better. Each player can't cast more than one non Phyrexian spell. Non Phyrexians enter the battlefield tapped. Oh, ETB tapped, okay. Non-Phyrexian creatures ETB tapped. Okay, so that's good against Grease Fang. Uh... There's 19 green mana. Nineteen white mana? I feel like you can cut the number of brushlands you're playing. Like, we don't have Voice of Resurgence, but what's a good, uh... 
Let's go replacement for it. Scoos. I guess I'll play a little with it. I'll play like a match or two with it, and then I will uh, make another assessment after that to see how I feel. Wow, did, did, did anyone read that new Divergent Transformations card for Commander Masters? It has Undaunted, which means it costs one less for each opponent. So if you have three opponents, it's seven mana, so it costs four mana, and it's an instant speed card. So it's three and a red. It exile two creatures. For each of those creatures, this control reveals cards from the top of the library until a revealed creature card puts it onto the battlefield and shuffles the rest. So it's just instant speed transmogrify. Like, what is happening? I think we're just keeping every hand with Lenoir Elves in it. Well, uh, we might need double white, so I'm just gonna start with Brushland here. Uh, this with no immediate removal spell is probably Rakdos. I don't want to get bone crushered. Like getting scavenging used bone crushered is so bad. But like, if I I need to if I resolve chariot next turn, it's amazing. All right, I'll just do this then. I shot that in because when they go to kill my scavenging use, I can give it a 1 1 counter in response by exiling the Bloodtide Harvester itself. So let's just hope they don't see that. Fatal push. I don't want to crew the chariot because they can go second harvester. Second harvester kill the chariot. I don't want that. That's this is why I don't play multiple down to the bugbears in this deck. So awkward. Okay. It's a lot of lands.
I think I want to go Elspeth so it doesn't get thought seized. And I think I just want to keep plussing it. It's not like they can kill it. We can save everyone. We fight together. Like, they can't beat a Resolve Chariot. I don't need to give it counters. It feels like worse Green Raider vehicles. I mean, not having access to a Crown War is a problem. Because, like, what do you do now? Give the Chariot flying? Excuse is great. Like getting all of our stuff out now plays around Thoughtseize and they have four of those in the deck. Like how do they how do they ever beat that? Just lose to this card. All right, Elspeth was pretty good there. Steel Seraph could have done the same thing though. Yasharn's pretty annoying for for uh, that deck to deal with. Dramokus commands pretty whatever, because like it doesn't even stop Bone Crusher Giant. Fighting's not that good. Sensors, whatever. Rest in peace, bad. Destroy evil's great. Deck and stone. I guess you just need to kill Shieldred. You know what I'd like to see in this deck? The the green one drop that says I draw a card every time you target one of my things. Archon's bad. Honestly, invasion's pretty bad. I mean, Dramoko's command's not very good. Yeah, Shaper Sanctuary. Could 4-mana Elish be, be better than 4-mana Elspeth? I don't know, Elspeth was pretty good there. I feel like I want this Jasharn. I'm going to cut an invasion for it. Oh, wow, there's no basic forest for the Jasharn. All right. So we could cut a card for the basic forest. Yeah, it's great against Sack, great against Rakdos. Like, just Rakdos decks in general. This hand's a little bit bad because it has uh, four lands in it, but whatever. If they don't take Lana Worlds, that's a really bad sign for us. It's a bad sign. Unfortunately, we're getting this killed immediately. What? Opponent's well, nuts! God, the mana base is so freaking awkward. I don't even want to use this because of Stomp. OK. 
Okay. I really don't want to cast the Seekers Cherry because if, if, last turn, if they if they had uh, Thoughtseize, they would have cast it. So the, the card they could have now is Bone Crusher Giant. I think I'm just chilling. Well, you think if they had Bone Crusher Giant, they'd just kill the or else. Okay. No! Jesus. All right, I guess we're casting Chariot. Okay, we have the the uh, sky clay for that. They could have fatal flush. I do not want to turn on their fatal flush. I'm just going to not attack. All right, I mean, they could just not have Fatal Flush. Another Shelly. That is awful. I don't even want to attack with this thing. Like I, I cast this first. So I want to set up the flying card not being dead. Fable, sure. This thing looking good. Tolarian University. What's up? Flying Asika's Chariot. Coming in. This is Pioneer, by the way. Chaz. All right, so how... They have to have, like... They're going to bring in cards like a Braid and K-Command against me, so I just have to hope they don't have those before they die. They discarded a fable? That seems like a mistake. Like, this game's gonna come down to card advantage, not life total. Well, right now they have double... They have a bank buster and a fable and a shield tree. They currently don't have an answer to fable, so... Misery Shadow? Pff, sure. I don't, I don't even know why they didn't side that card out. Adeline? Sure. They don't have a lifelinker right now, so casting Adeline's okay.
Honestly, casting Idolene opens up Fatal Push for them, though, which is annoying. But they have Fatal Push open regardless, right? Because they could just attack with Goblin Shaman if they had it, so I don't think they have it. Flying Idolene? Yeah, Flying Idolene's going to be a real problem for them. I think Flying Idolene just straight up kills them if they don't. No, because they're going to gain like four life next turn, including the blood token life this turn. One thing about Rakdos is they play like a slightly above average number of lands, anywhere between 24 and 26 lands. I've seen 27 lands in some Rakdos decks, so it does have a tendency to flood out sometimes. Adeline token dying won't turn on revolt. That is, that's true. That's true. Voice must be nice. Yeah, voice must be nice. Uh, voice was supposed to be these scavenging uses. What? I mean, I, I guess I have to block, right? One, two, uh, three, four, five, six. I'll kill it. Do we Alpha Strike next turn? We're not going to kill him. Like, sure, we'll, we'll, we'll get three for one, but we made those two twos for free anyway. So basically just um, getting a two for one here with Misery Shadow with, two, with uh, three free cats. What a terrible draw. I don't really care if they block Adeline. Like, we are dead to, like, double Bone Crusher? No, we're not. Noxious Grass Malira. All right, they have two removal spells. They're going to remove Adeline in response or something. We just have to target Adeline anyway. I should target Still Seraph in response, but it doesn't really matter, right? Unless I just didn't read Malira correctly. Whoa, that resolved.
This says, um, choose another target creature artifact when it's put into a graveyard this turn, return it to the battlefield. I need to kill them fast because oh my, I've drawn like three elves in a row. And I could just die. They have a blocker here. One, two, three, four, five. They can't block and draw a card. They can do the um, crew with Bankbuster. They can do the um, crew with Bankbuster, block, draw a card, gain two life, use Reflection of Kiki Jiki, copy the Bankbuster. Um, crew the Bankbuster with the token, draw another card, so it can gain like 22 here. They can go to 22 here. The problem is I just can't kill them. Like even if I even if I make this a, like eleven power, they do have the K command. That I expected. I'm glad they did that to to the Skyclave instead of doing it at my face. But they can still do the end phase bankbuster play. God shield, it's just so good. This is why you need like a Crone War or something for this. I mean, like we have a lot of answers to Shieldred in the deck. We just have not drawn them yet. I mean, if they did the two damage to face, we would have just died. We can still die. Like, they just have so much life because that, that one Shieldred. Like, we don't have to have a Crow in War. We could just draw our removal spells. We have double Deck and Stone, um, um, and then double Kill Target Creature with Toughness for a greater card. Guess I don't have a Fatal Push. And they probably do. Trying to draw Fatal Push now? Nope, they don't have it. Guess it gains his life. They don't have Bone Crusher Giant. You just can't attack through the stupid children.
Well, that's annoying. What's the clock looking like? 13 minutes. It's probably not going to matter, though. If we if we if we crew the chariot, they just kill the chariot, so it doesn't really matter. But if but if we don't do it, yeah, I'll just let that go. Wow, they're just not even killing our stuff for free. I'm just gonna make them use the last harvester to kill to kill chariot. Cause if they use the last harvester, they need another one to keep the chain going. Man, children literally soloed us. They're not doing anything, it's so crazy. We drew like elf, 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 land, land. Look, we just run it back. We shouldn't have mulliganed. Now that I think about it. Like, we could have easily won the game by just going turn three, turn four. It's not like they're doing anything from turns one and two. Oh, we, we just got so lucky. I care about Misery Shadow. I guess a little bit. Like, I want to kill this invasion in two turns, and they don't have anything anything to play. Good draw. I'm not going to crew the chariot.
Yep, that's why I don't crew the chariot. Now they're gonna extinction event. And now I have to hope I draw land. Oh, they called odds! Wow. Crazy. Crazy. I mean, that was just a massive punt. I mean, after playing that match, Like, Ooze could have been Voice of Resurgence, but Ooze was kind of good there anyway. Um, like, Dramoka's Command's good, but like, I guess it's fine. Like, I do want to find room for... Grizzled Huntmaster? That's an alchemy card. I feel like I do want some number of Shaper Sanctuary. Like two, probably. We could take out a uh, one of the portable holes or one of the sensors. I don't. I don't think you need four effects that do this. So why don't we just like main deck one and one of Archon and sensor, sideboard the other sensor and play two shapers in the sideboard. Also, I think we want one basic forest because we have Jasharn in the deck. So I'm going to play a forest. Four, eight, 12, 16. It's still eight. It's still 18 um, white sources for apparition and Adeline. We have infinite green mana, but like we can honestly just change out a green mana for a for a white mana if we have anything here. Probably not though. Like the only thing we could really play realistically is overgrown farmland, but I hate those. I hate that land. Cut sensor for main board at a land so we're at 23. We have eight elves. Like that is a lot. Like, so it's basically like we're playing like 30 lands or whatever. Loyal Warhound, wow. You don't like the slow land? Yeah, I hate it. All right, this, this is probably what I would play if I played this. I, I'd probably play one Sky Sovereign console flagship. You should probably sideboard the console flagship. But like, there's a basic planes in here. Um, But like, your sideboard is super tight. Unless you only, unless you only want to play one Redane. Loyal Warhand's not good. Yeah, the fact that it has one toughness is not very great. Uh, 
Like, I don't even know if you need four Steel Seraph. You could just play three of that card. Like, what if you just did this? Like, that's also fine. Dramoka can you come from the sideboard? Yeah, I did that already. Sideboards, your Sharn, double Redain, double Rest in Peace, three portable holes, one sensor, two, two destroy evil, two deck and stone, two shaper sanctuary. So we keep two Dramoka's command in the main board. We still have one Archon, one sensor um, in the main deck. And then we have one console flagship so that we can like basically never lose the Rakdos. Like we didn't lose the Rakdos there, but th this card means that you don't lose the Rakdos. Not big enough creatures for Henge, yeah. If we played Lovestruck Beast, we'd be able to probably be able to play Great Henge, but it's hard to play it's hard to play Great Henge in a format where like Rakdos is the best deck because it's just so many removal spells. You went you went uh three mana value thal yeah, over Archon, but it dies to stop. Yep, yep. Everyone plays stop. Alright, so I'm I'm let's do that for you, Jaffer. The deck list is in the Discord in the match the gathering section. Switch scavenging ooze for voice of resurgence until explorer anthology three comes out. Okay. We are getting Voice of Resurgence in Explorer Anthology 3, right? All right, guys. I do want to give you a quick shout out to the sponsors of the stream. Number one is Ultra Pro, the standard and safe storage. Use code JAMES5 for CoolStuffInc.com to get 5% off of anything in the store. Find all of our decks on Moxfield. Beef up your MTG Arena account using MTGCodes.com. Use code JAMES5 at Rogue Energy to get 20% off. Untapped.gg to get the best deck tracker and meta stats the game has to offer. Dragon Shield. Shop Dragon Shield for North America and Europe and get 12% off of Mana Traders by using code TOPDECK at checkout. And also get a free $15 when you sign up using my link at DRIP. Anyway, now that we have that said and done, um, I do want to let you know right before we go over to Jim Davis that speaking of Jim Davis, I'm going to be doing an MTG Jeopardy stream um, for an hour or two next Thursday. So put that on your calendar. This coming Thursday, the 20th and possibly the 17th, 17th or 18th, but we're doing MTG Jeopardy with Veggie Wagon, uh, Talia Vess, and Jim Davis on the 20th at three o'clock p.m. Eastern, put it on your calendar. It's gonna be tons of fun, tons of cool questions, and we're gonna see who wins um, Magic the Gathering Jeopardy. Let's go ahead and go over to Jim Davis. Have a good rest of your day, and I will see you next time. And as always, Goose Gang, out. Let's go!